Welcome back, True Seeker. Saturday, March 16th, 2019. On this day in New Zealand, the supposed shooter of the Christchurch Mosque posed with police officers in court and did the 666 hand gesture for the cameras. And this media has been put out by all of mainstream media. If you've ever been arrested, ask, do you ever remember posing in court next to two police officers who are standing there as if they're Masonic pillars? I only see these types of photos in these mass shootings. The last time I saw an image like this, it was with Dylan Stormroof, the Charleston church shooter. And one should also ask, why is this man's face blurred out? They've already released the image of his face from the video in the media, so why today does it need to be blurred out? Doesn't really make a lot of sense either. But I want to talk about the significance of this hand gesture in light of what we just saw with the Christ Church shooting, which has a major biblical theme. Of course, the number 666 taught about in Revelation 13, 18, and... Also, his garb, which looks like something from biblical times. So, in Gematria, using the Sumerian cipher, which is multiplying the alphabetic order times six, fingers equals 666. This is something you can learn about in my book, which is now banned everywhere. So, hopefully you got it before it was banned. I'll actually give you instructions how you can get it from me directly. I'll link it in the... Um, Top post if you still would like to get the book, but it has been banned where it was previously available. The same day as this shooting ritual, I think uh, the powers that shouldn't be were getting a little bit too afraid of this knowledge reaching the masses. You know, I had two videos go viral about this shooting, and the next thing you know, the book's banned. Anyhow, 666 Fingers. Fingers has that 666 Gematria. The interesting thing about 666 is it's the 36th triangular number, meaning if you had 1 through 36 together, it equals 666. And the number 151 is the 36th prime number. Now, remember, this happened in Christ Church, New Zealand. Jesus Christ has that gematria of 151. So 666, the 36th triangular number, 151, the 36th prime. The powers that shouldn't be are trying to ignite a holy war between the Christians and the Islamic faith, which they've been working very hard at, especially since the time of September 11th. Today, the day of this pose is March 16th, the date that's written 316 in a lot of the world, reminding of John 316, the most known verse in the Bible about Jesus. What a lot of people don't know is that in Hebrew gematria, the numerical value of Jesus Christ is 316. John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Christ church shooting of a mosque. And as we discuss very thoroughly, the shooting was March 15th, the Ides of March, the 74th day of the year. Later it emerged that the shooter had released a 74-page manifesto. Every mainstream outlet reported this number, a very symbolic number in these shootings. As we discussed, Jesus Christ in English sums to 74. Jesus also 74. Same with Messiah. Same with cross. Same with gospel. Same with parables. Same with Muhammad. And in recent years, we saw the death of Muhammad Ali at age 74 on June 3rd. The prophet Muhammad dead at age 63. Also, again, the shooting was on March 15th, the 74th day of the year. Active shooter also sums to 74. So does killing. So does English, so does Gematria, so does Jewish, so does Tarot, so does Masonic, so does Occult. There's the song out there, Gematria, the killing name. Gematria is the practice of coding numbers into words. The English language is based on this code. It comes from Jewish mysticism, Kabbalah, which is related to Tarot cards. This knowledge is Masonic. This knowledge is Occult. I should also mention that in this same cipher, Lucifer sums to 74, the name for Satan from the King James Bible. King James, who was a Freemason. Lucifer, 666, number of the beast. With regards to Freemasonry, we pointed out that the date of this shooting was a span of 47 days from the anniversary of the establishment of the Grand Lodge in New Zealand. 
4774, very symbolic numbers to the Masons. Their compass set at 47 degrees. Government, 47. Authority, 47. Policeman, 47. Cop, 47. The police spokesperson for this was Mike Bush. Mike Bush, 47. In light of the Christian themes, the word Christians, 47. The name John's, 47. The word save is 47. In the New International Version of the Bible, there's 47 mentions of Satan. The word beast is 47. Today, the day of this post, March 16th, 2019, it's a date with 58 numerology. Freemasonry has the Gematria 58, so does Rosicrucian, so does Secret Society. King James was a Freemason and a Rosicrucian. He died at age 58, dropped dead unexpectedly. Fraternal, as in Fraternal Order of Police is 58, Biblical is 58. There's actually a long list of relevant words that are 58, including the Tetragrammaton, the name for God from the Old Testament. As for 33, big Masonic number, police, masonry, secrecy, order, all 33. Is this man's face blurry for the symbolism? Is it because it's a different person here than the person shown in the shooting? You know, perhaps that man won't do any time. Perhaps he's part of this Masonic Brotherhood, just fulfilling his role in the ordeal, as I said the day of the news. Like I said from day one, the police are a part of this, otherwise there would have been a police response. In the videos, you would have heard the sirens of the police in the distance responding. There was enough time for there to be a police response. The shooter took his sweet time like he knew he had all day. But notice blurry, 33 to fit in with the riddle. Of course, Bible's also 33. The one day of the week that sums to 33 is Sunday. This photo is from Saturday, but, you know, Christians worship on Sunday. Jehovah equals 33 too. So... Religion, government, they have two things in common. They have a lot of people under them and a lot of people who believe in them and who don't question them and who follow. There's a slang term for these type of people. And to get my point across, let me read from John 10.1. The good shepherd and his sheep. Very truly, I tell you, Pharisees, anyone who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate but climbs in by some other way is a thief and a robber. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper who opens the gate for him and the sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them, and his sheep follow him because they know his voice." but they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognize a stranger's voice. Jesus used this figure of speech, but the Pharisees did not understand what he was telling them. Therefore, Jesus said again, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who have come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep have not listened to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. By the way, the word gate equals 33. But again, sheep. So much symbolism of sheep in the Bible and following and believing. The word with the lie in the middle. And again, Government is here to control you, so is religion. And age-old tactic is divide and conquer, keep people divided, fighting amongst themselves, hating each other, and not seeing who's really ruling over them, who's really exploiting them, who's really abusing them. Police, military, government, authority, media, Don't be a sheep, truth seeker. Until next time.